there's more than one elite level golfer in the Woods family. Tiger's niece, Cheyenne Woods, turned pro in 2012 and enjoyed a successful stint on the Ladies European Tour, winning the Volvic RACV Ladies Masters in Australia before returning to America to ply her trade on the LPGA. A native of Phoenix, there's one particular event circled in the calendar, the Bank of Hope Founders Cup. I've had a lot of junior events and even professional events out here, so it's nice to be able to play a course I'm familiar with. I love desert golf, so it's nice to play on a, a type of course that I enjoy. I love playing this event just because it is in my hometown. I grew up here in Phoenix. I think the scenery is beautiful. It's different, you know, with the desert and the mountains and the cactus. We have some of the best sunsets. Phoenix is a great city, so I'm proud to be from here. It's a rare treat for golfers to be surrounded by home comforts. So this event offers Cheyenne the chance to mix business with pleasure. We don't get many events where we can sleep in our own bed, so that's always nice. And I think the biggest thing is just having the support of my friends, my family out here. Um, it's always one of my favorite weeks, but it's also busy, you know, with also with the friends and family, I'm coordinating tickets and who's coming when, but it's all a part of the, the experience and I'm loving it. I think when you have a home tournament, it's easy to kind of get out of your routine because you are at home, you are around a lot of friends and family that might be pulling you in different directions. But this week I've really been trying to stick to my practice routine and making sure that I'm prepared to play on Thursday. Patches of poor form come with the territory for professional golfers. It can be a roller coaster of emotions. And Woods is aware that a healthy mindset is key when working through both the highs and the lows. Last year, I had a stretch of missing a lot of cuts. And, um, you know, we do live a great lifestyle out here, but it gets hard if you're not playing well. So I think it's really important to find a balance of playing professional golf and grinding, but also enjoying being out here. So that's really what I'm trying to do this year. You also have to be critical and figure out where you do need to improve. But in terms of coming out on the other side, uh, seeing the light, uh, it makes it worth it because we work really hard out here and to see your hard work pay off, um, there's no better feeling. So you just gotta push through and grind it out and enjoy it while you're doing it. After the end of last season, I looked at my stats and tried to figure out where I can improve the most this year. And I've been really focusing on my putting and my short game. Um, with my coach, we've been really just hammering down on the, the wedges around the greens, um, 40 to 80 yards. And I think that is really where, at this level, you can make up a lot of shots. So um, I've really been trying to improve on that this season. And um, so far in the first few events, I've improved on my stats. So it's looking good. <laughs> The LPGA's great depth of talent could be seen as daunting, but Woods prefers to see competing at this level as a challenge to be embraced. So many other great players out here that it just pushes everyone to be better. And I think that definitely plays a big part in just everybody kind of improving. Um, you know, we've had a lot of American winners this season so far, which is exciting. Um, it's great to see the American talent playing well. and. Um, who knows what will happen this week, but there's so many people from all over the world here on the LPGA Tour. It's a very global tour, so we have some really good girls out here. With Cheyenne's positive outlook on life, some strong performances are surely just around the corner.